So in the previous lesson, we discovered how we can change CSS classes through class binding. But what if we wanted to change style binding? And really, they're very similar, except we're simply changing the style attribute of a given HTML element as opposed to classes. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to change real quickly our H1 here. And the way you initiate style binding is to wrap the style here and then a name of a given CSS property. So let's say color equals, and we'll say title style. Down here in our component class down here, we'll create title style and we'll make it a property of CSS that you could bind the color property to. So we'll say color is red. So let's save it. We'll come back here and we'll see that it is now red. Very simple. Now you can also control the value of the specified CSS property within the template expression itself. And you can make it conditional. So for instance, let's just make this true down here just to say that this property exists. And up here, we'll change this here to add a question mark. So it's saying if title style is defined or true, then we'll make the value of whatever specified here, which in this case it's color, we'll make it green. Otherwise, and we use a colon for that, pink. So let's save. We'll see that in this case, it's going to show up as green. And if we were to set this as false, we'll see it'll show up as pink. Now, as with class binding and the ability to control multiple CSS classes, we could do the same thing with style binding through the ng style directive. So let's go ahead and change that. So up here, we'll change style here to ng style. And remember before, if you want to do that with classes, it's, it's ng class, very simple. And we'll go ahead and change this part. We'll remove that conditional. So styles, it's going to be a plural title styles. Down here, we'll make this a object. And now, instead of given a CSS class as in the case of an object for changing multiple CSS classes through ng class, we change this here to CSS properties. So we'll say color and then their values right here. We'll say red or font size as well. We can make it 4EM. So let's just save this and you'll see now it shows up large. So this gives us the ability to control multiple CSS styles through a single object right here. All right, so as you can see, Angular provides you with a lot of different ways to control your CSS through class binding and style binding. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at services in Angular 4. See you then.